Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we wanted to get this scheduled and so you guys could see it, but it's, for some reason it's not letting us schedule this morning. But what we got going on today, let me pop you off the tripod here. Is we got Deb. She wants to run her splitter, but we got ourselves some big ash rounds here. The balance of what's left, we did a bunch. We did another face quarter or so yesterday real quick. Filled up the firewood stand, filled up some more bags. And we want to bust out the rest of this today and get on to milling the log. If we take too long on this, hey guys, dive in first. All right. Hey, Shive, what's going on? Hey, you're doing some roadside logging later on. Hopefully you guys can hear us. Give me a good thumbs up for the sound check. Hey, Bill Klein, what's going on, man? Still waiting for a thumbs up on the sound check. Just want to make sure everybody could see, everybody could hear. There goes Jack. Good morning. At least it's morning for us. Still, it's 1120 here in PA. Sound is good. All right. Thanks, time in. Uh, I'm going to get you to a more interesting spot. This is not going to be as interesting over here. But like I said, we got big ash to go. How many we got watching so far? 12 thumbs up. Oh, no. 12 people watching, three thumbs up. Don't forget that thumbs up, guys. It means a lot. To YouTube when you do that hitting that thumbs up well, like we we're saying let me walk you around here hopefully you guys will be able to hear us you can tell we're keeping the woodshed full I and mean, we've been through a row and a half and we just keep stacking new ash right in front this is the ugly stuff it's not going into bundles it's not going into uh, not going into stands so <laughs> Hey, Shive, I think we have the same taste, man. <laughs> a little junk in the truck, not the whole junkyard, though. Hey, Deb always gets a kick out of that. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to split into the pile. I might try uh, I might try stacking some of it. But it's getting a little crowded back in here. We're splitting right onto this pallet that's behind the camera right now, guys. And hopefully I'm not yelling too much. We got a lot of wind here on the mill, so uh, hopefully you guys can hear us over the wind. So we got 16 here. Easton Maze should be warmed up by now. We came out and busted a bunch of this down like yesterday. We did all the bucking yesterday. And uh, we are ready to finish this ash up. Hopefully we can. There is metal in one of the ash rounds over here and uh yeah are you reading it because i can't see anything <laughs> got my so crank and yep yeah it's going to be a cold one it's going to drop come saturday this week i heard it's we're supposed to get a high of like maybe teens <laughs> something like that so hey how's this angle guys i know when you're not seeing any action yet but uh you will in a minute I'll be moving the camera because the wood's going to pile up here in a hurry. All right. I saw a good morning, everyone, but the chat disappears on me, Dev. You can see it. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, 18 folks here. Eight thumbs up. Let's get some action rolling. Keep people on here. What do you say, Deb? You ready? Deb's going to check her phone occasionally, see if anything's up. Moderators, watch the chat for us, guys. Which that's you, Don. <laughs> yeah, once the ground freezes, it's going to be a lot nicer to get around. I mean, the backyard right now, it's uh, it's mush. So, all right, guys, let's make some firewood. Splitting Deb or am I? Alright. Yeah, I'll do it. Here we go. Okay, everybody's ready for Christmas. I know we are for the most part. A little bit of shopping to do yet. Trees up, lights are up. We're in good shape. Everybody over on Joe's live stream this morning. Like I said, I'll try to keep up with stacking, but that ain't gonna happen really, I don't think. But we 
we've got about a third of a cord to split here. Uh, at least space for a third of a cord. I think we might have more of that for the neck here. Any trouble? All right, well, that's that, that's that black spot. You good. You see, we're back to the box weights, guys. The more weight was good when we were doing the, uh, doing the crotchy stuff over there in the wood yard the other day, a couple videos ago. And, uh, Got to turn out some good stuff for the. Uh, uh, see how fast I can fall behind here. Just turning out some good stuff for the roadside stand for bundles. We we'll get a good mix of that here. Yeah, conveyor doesn't work here, guys. We're right up against the pallet we're filling, so. Yeah. Oh, you're into that crotch on there, that knot on there. Try to cut across it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing about this, from here you can watch the chat and talk of it. Any of that nasty stuff, ugly stuff we're throwing over there. That'll go in our wood shed. Doesn't have to look pretty, just has to make heat. I know Brad was uh, working in the wood yard, so I don't think he's going to make it out today. Yeah. Yeah, put that, oh yeah, always put that up. Oh, it sounds like you got a double one on there. Yeah, but we needed to make uh, wood, roadside stand wood and uh, bundle wood. So we go back to the box wedge. That's better. I don't know, it sounds better. You can see, guys, <laughs> I got to hustle to get, keep up with this thing. And Deb's not splitting real fast. This thing just pumps out tons of firewood in a hurry. Granted, you get a little scrap off the bottom. But I think if you actually compared it to the amount of wood you're splitting, it's, uh, it's pretty good. A lot of bark on this, on this tree here, yeah. You good? Yeah, go ahead. I'm not gonna mess around in there too much. You might hear me huffing and puffing on here too. Yeah. It's a little ugly, we'll keep that for us. Yeah, so is that one. That was from that knot on there. It comes from pretty good stuff. Nice. You can see this stuff like two and a half by two and a half. It's pretty good, maybe three. Might have to drop the wedge a little bit. Well, you can't do it while there's just stuff in there. You gotta wait. Wait till it's all, we'll clean it out. We'll drop the wedge. I mean, I'm not going to do like Zach did in Joe's live stream and take go all the way down to a t-shirt, but I'm definitely going to dump this sweatshirt. It is too hot. And it's like 28 degrees out here. No, it's like 32 out here. All right. Dumping the sweatshirt. Clean that out and we'll 
drop it down in the main. Man, this firm, I think my firm will work a little too good. There we go. I think I'm back. I'm back. All right, and we needed uh, needed to go about an inch smaller. Drop the box weights down. There we go. Good size for bundles. Heck yeah. They're just stacking it up fast, guys. And I'm gonna hit my mic a lot doing this, so apologize for the noise ahead of time. Now for those who hadn't heard, I uh, changed jobs. Yeah, I still work an eight hour a day job. Same company, different job. So if anybody up there in Michigan is watching the channel, because they know about it, Steve, if you're watching, hope you're having a good day. I know you guys got a lot colder up there than here, that's for sure. Yeah, nice bundle size, man. Put that one down here. There we go. Move you around a bit. Move you over this side. Try not to get uh, tripping on the cord. You see what everybody's saying. I'm going to fall behind if I do. But. Uh, how many pieces of wood we do or something? Okay, I didn't catch all of that. Joe's here. <laughs> yeah, it's with a, uh, I won't say the exact name, but it's an office furniture manufacturer. Look at this stuff, guys. Beautiful stuff. And it's ash, so it's pretty much ready to go now. We'll get it stacked. Get some, uh, get some air through it. Yeah, if you saw the stand that I'm stacking in, the row that I'm filling now was empty. That is third of a cord or one face cord and we are almost halfway done with that already. Notice I'll reach up in here when it's not running. When it's running you don't want to reach as far into the machine. Yeah. So who wants to guess how many years Deb and I were married? If your family, it doesn't count, so you can't answer. Let someone else answer. Maybe we'll give that one up, and then we'll make it a trivia question. And Ricky's Outdoors is here. We do have some cherry right behind the camera display. <laughs> we just need a place to put it.
Jeff's taking it easy on me, guys. Believe me, this thing could pump out way faster than this. Yeah, you're in a good knot there. That'll head over, head over, over to uh, our wood. Once you maybe bust it in half. Yeah, it's just, it's just cutting it half down. So we'll throw that over to the woodshed. And believe me, that'll fit in our wood, so. Hey, uh, oh, jammed up on there. There we go. It's the only, the only downside to the box width that I've seen is sometimes you might be something we're doing wrong. Sometimes the wood climbs over top of the previous split. Piles up again. Otherwise, it goes real well. That was a lot of little pieces just came out of that. That's all right. Now, well, that's the thing. You get the trade-off, the amount of mesh you get here on the ground. Let me show you what we're getting here. And you can see that down there. Hey, I'd help her, but she'd yell at me. <laughs> that. That's a trade-off for the amount of wood you get out of there. Yep. I just want to make sure it goes in. You got a piece? Okay. I'll just want to make sure it goes into the cradle right here. Up, up, down. You're going big again. There you go. See where it's sticking up a little bit? Go ahead up. I want to make sure this is up when we get in there. Let's bring it all back. Not right there. I want to make sure that that goes to the top. Whoop. Yeah, I'm going to yank the camera over. <laughs> they got cords running through the work area here. Is that maybe an ocean violation? I don't know. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's coming off good size. Oh, the small ones in the end, no big deal. Time to what? Okay. Oh. So I don't know what time exactly went on here. Yeah, if you guys have not seen uh, Shad channel, outside with Shad, uh, his roadside logging, <laughs> guy shot putting oak rounds. <laughs> About how many feet, Shad? You were heaving those things. But, uh, thanks, me get permission from the landowner. Head in there, close to the roadside. Cut what you can and get it out and get it out of there. Right, cool videos there if you want to check that out. A lot of you guys I know were just over at Joe's. JPF. Joe's firewood videos. You guys heading out for a delivery today, Joe. Yeah, you're just doing some stacking. I know you had somebody stopping by for firewood. You're almost out of little rounds. We're going to get to them big ones in a minute, guys. You want to see uh, how the Eastern Maid handles some big rounds? Stay tuned. And following that, we're going to go over. we got a black walnut log sitting at the mill. we got seven of them, actually. We're going to run through and make some uh, lumber, lumber out of that. That just said doesn't wear me out doing the split. We are going to be 
Yeah, we're going to be really close. But not a full face pull off this. What we got left. I don't have to do this, guys. I'm just knocking them out of there. Just let the next split push it through. I'm just trying to clear it all. All right. That's good. No, no, no. One more. One more. One more. You almost got it. We're doing it the old way we're doing. There we go. We're trying to keep it about an inch smaller than what we would normally have. That gives you your bundle with it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hook it up. That'll help clean up that knot. And we're gonna run into an issue here. We don't have any shorties. I'll turn some sideways till we get past it. It'll still fill up. Yeah. You can toss that one over there. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, we asked that question. How long have Deb and I been married? How long have we been married, Deb? Stay too long, you're fired. Uh, you're married 37 years, you 38 years. You can use that thing. 38, 38 years, you can choose. 37. It's part of the job. It's part of the wedding vows, don't you remember? Love, honor, cherish, get in your way. He was there. I was there, I heard it. Hey. You can use the pick a room to hook a room. No? How long have we been going? We're going about half an hour. I think we ought I think we ought to do this one and get ourselves one of the big rounds over here. It's a hooker room. What? what? Are you going to stick it in your leg? <laughs> well, if you do, well, you know, I'm an EMT, so I'll help that you Keep it going. See how fast that went, guys? Boom, 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 firewood, done. That came out nice. Alright. What one? Why do I get the ones that are pain in the butt? <laughs> I can give you a hand. Here comes that wind. Oh, I got to put it right on for you. Oh, is that how that works? Meanwhile, I'll fall behind and stack it. You got it. Can't pick and choose. Do you think you're in a union shop here? Okay. 
Uh, I hear that, guys. I think that's going to go on strike. What's happening over there? Some of this is a little bit small. Yeah, that's, that's going in a bundle. Yeah, if you ever saw our bundles, guys. No saggy bags here. No, it doesn't like that at all. Four people on, 18 thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Uh, sunny in northern Michigan. That's for the most part it was sunny here this morning. The clouds are blowing in a little bit, and it's windy. So, what do you mean? I'm not falling behind. Oh, you want to clean out? <laughs> Where? What over there? Just push it through. Let me get that one, let me get those. Don't lose it. That's good, just like that. Let it rip. This one's gonna split weird. Come back, lift up. See if I can get that cleared. What are you doing? No, lift up. You're, you're all the way down. Why? I don't know how you did that. Oh man, I don't have to do this. more in there. That's what she is. Yeah. Hang on. Always make sure your partner knows you're going to reach your hand in there. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm good. It is what it is. No, that's too far down. That's too far up. Just split it. That's going to be ugly wood anyway. What? No, 
Oh, you're gonna get a big one in there. Well, I'm cleaning it out. You can go watch the camera and chat with everybody while I get that round over here. That's it. I'm not gonna get all windy. It's like I'm not winded already. Spin the camera around here, see what we got going on. No? Two hours we'll get out of a tank of fuel on this. Running. Uh, full on, you know. That's all right, we're good. There we go. I just want to get one of these in, guys. Four, I think on this 30 inch, something like that. You know what? We're live. Let's figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that'll be nice. I know we'll be there. <clears throat> Going for a tape measure, guys. Uh, 25, 27. No, it's called a 26 inch round. So, let's see, if, let's see how long this takes. Another one? Let's do another one. Okay. Oh, right, lever, fine. Look at this. Good bundle wood. I'll get the other one over if you want to empty this. Stack it. Yeah. Oh, man. 
Let's show you where we're going with this, guys. But that front row was empty when we started. And this stuff is stacked so high, each row is well over a third of the cord. So we only have to go a little bit way, a little ways yet. It's a third, it's a face cord. One of these rows is a face cord. Three of these rows equal a full cord. Full cord is four by four by eight. Four feet deep, four feet high, eight foot long. That's a cord. Let's do one more. Big round. You want to do the one with the metal in it? Or do you want to skip that one? No? Yeah. Well, you're no fun. 35 watching, 29 thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Definitely appreciate that. We're going to do one more big round. And I think we'll head over to the, uh, to the hill. Get ourselves a black walnut log going. As soon as I stop tripping over the board. Here. There you go. Ah, what? About there. Nope. You know what? I am gonna do the one with the metal on it. find out what all is in there. I got wire sticking out of the side of it. Let me show you what I got here, guys. Take you off the tripod. Now, we got metal in here. This is a carabiner-looking thing here. And it's on a lag in there further. It's the reason we didn't mill this. Also, where is it? Back here a little further. Right here. Wire. So we got at least a nail in there. So we'll start splitting in, see what we can find, and see if we can avoid ramming it into the uh, into the cutting edge. And most of all, find out exactly what it is. Now this will probably end up right on the downside, I think. came out, I don't know where it is. Oh! Here you go, guys. That is one big lag bolt. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have a little bit of damage on the cutting edge. I'll just get the grinder out and resharpen it. But uh, let's keep going. Man, this would have been fun to try to find all this stuff in the tree if we were milling it. So that goes in our pile, Deb. All right, let's, let's try to avoid this. 
uh, a nail. That was probably where the wire was. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with the cutting edge. That's a big honk of nail there, guys. Uh, that's a good thing to find in there. Well, the wire was probably on that nail. All right. Let's walk this in there. Uh. Try to keep that visual. Visible. Staining because ash does stain and steel on it. That's a squash my leg. This is we're gonna wrap it up on this one guys and then we're gonna go to the bill for all those who like milling. split that apart on blue. That's a that is a big lag guy. That thing's six inches long. It's sticking out this side and here's the head of it over here. That's six inches long. I don't I'm not gonna bother with that anymore guys. Check that out. Here's what you see on the outside. Got that little carabiner looking thing there. The lag is down in there. Where's the other end? We've got six, maybe eight inches of lag sticking out of there. That's nasty. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to run that through the splitter anymore. Let's just leave that one aside. Ooh, man, we got this in there. Oh, this side got jammed up. Easy enough to work with, guys. Get the hydraulics to the work. A lot of splittery stuff here. Kindling, kindling bundles. Add on sales. There you go. You want to go? You want to keep going, Doug? You want to clean up here, or do you want to head over? There we go. That's all a mess. Let me split this one in half. I'm not going to be able to. I got to wrap. I got to throw it back up. Yeah, you can't. 
cannot split like this normally, guys. Maybe little bits like this. A little piece like that. You don't have to split this all the way up. It's not gonna work. Go ahead and grab this to it. I'll bring it back down. Like to throttle it down, guys. Let it cool off a little bit. If you shut it off right away, the uh, there's no air moving over the engine. So, all right, let me show you what we got. And I unplugged you guys, so hopefully the battery's not dead on my phone. It's not. We're still going. JPF, LTD, backyard firewood. Say, stopping by. Is it Jason? Right, backyard firewood. Uh oh somebody's I missed that one. The chat disappears. I hate this. You got to look on your phone. Let's see, what's the battery at? It doesn't say. 34 people watching thumbs up. So some are got coming, some are gone. We've been out for 46 minutes. So yeah, we better get we're gonna be up too long. But I think we can shut it off. It's a cool day. But there you go. I would call that a third of a cord right there because the, the stack behind it is actually heaped way up over the top. Excuse me, Deb. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. As you can see right here, it's the top of the pallet. So we're really close to a third of a cord right there. Very close. Um, besides what we threw over here for our woodshed, I'd call that a third. But what we got is some black walnut to do so and thanks backyard firewood what he said my first iron oak is live stream <laughs> that's jason i caught i caught his name in jps uh live stream it's a little bit ago now i have to remember it jason so if i don't you can throw reminders at me next time we run into each other somebody stream so oh i still got 95 percent battery to the mill yes we did get set up for this guys <laughs> we set up ahead of time what we're gonna do is we'll set the lumber here scrap here we got the log on the loading arms but you can see we've got six more laying back here they're all about ten and a half feet long except for maybe the three in the back those are eight footers eight and a half but now I, it's gonna be hard to hear me guys when we get to milling, I apologize for that in advance. You know, it'd be neat to be able to do a live stream from a drone. <laughs> I'll have to find a way to uh, tie the drone footage in here. That would be cool. Uh, we got to get everything plugged back in so we keep everything charged up. All right. Ah, Richie, thank you. <laughs> but, uh, hey, where'd my helper go? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're over there? Yeah, we won't be able to get those really cool cinematic shots. Well, maybe we can. I'll square it up. Deb can mill, uh, mill the boards out. And I'll, I'll get the camera off the tripod. We'll get in there for some close-up action. What do you think? That sounds good to me. Blade tension. Unmasked. Start her up. Well, we got a ways to a mask yet. Uh oh, choke. Had it running earlier, guys. Uh, yeah, had it running earlier. Get it warmed up, but it already cooled off. So, are you ready? Go ahead and get your mask on. I guess I'll get mine on. And I definitely got to have my, my glasses on. Let it warm up. Yeah. yeah, for those of you wondering, we wear the mask because we know too many old woodworkers that have breathing issues. And especially with things like black walnut, uh, it's very destructive to your lung tissue. The same with um, 
things like cedar. Uh, some of these guys milling old telephone poles. I don't know how they do that, but I wouldn't bother doing that. That's craziness. But uh, any any kind of uh, oak is uh, very acidic. That'll that'll mess up your lungs too. So best to have this on. Yeah, I have a beard, so I don't get a super good seal on it, but it's better than nothing. And uh, I guess I could put something in my beard to help filter. I put some foam filter oil in my beard. What do you think? <laughs> Catch all that extra dust. Yeah, if you watched our maintenance on here, you know what I'm talking about. Foam filter oil on the uh, filter. Hang on one second. Well, you guys don't have to hang on. You're not listening to you. You're listening to you. So. But. Uh-oh. Got to change hats. I'm running the wood miser now. I got to give her to the Eastern Bay. See, my mic my mic keeps working this far away as I look. Oh, no. My mic wasn't on right. What do you mean, not on? It, would, it didn't look like it was on at all. I had wood. I look at it right now. Okay, we'll ask the crowd here. I hope they heard me. Did anybody hear Dad's mic earlier? Oh, just, just eating off mine. Dave, her mic wasn't on earlier, so. Not going for the easy made. Run on the wood miser. You put on the wood miser hat, right? And while we're in the live stream, guys, and I, before I forget, Joe Main, he's our blade supplier. Um, you can catch his, um, any of our milling videos, past few milling videos, you can catch his contact information. You need blades for your wood miser. He's got to see, we use 7 degree turbo 739 blades. Alright, they're 045 thick. Can't yeah, hear you. Into the quarter. So. Oh, are you trying to get Joe to say go blue? I don't know if that's going to work, Diamond. All right, we've been going a while here. We're getting down to 32 people. We better uh -oh. get a log build up. It sounded like they didn't hear me last time. What, are you looking at it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's too cold. You sound like she ran better last time. That was cold out. I mean, earlier when you started her up. Oh, well, it starts up to high, but the, uh, you got to use the hydraulic. The battery's probably getting tired too. It's really going to matter. So, I'm going to move my bike up. I can do my... There we go. Now I'm really going to be huffing and puffing, guys. Because what will happen is the mill will just drown out the mic. Uh-oh. Tape measure. I do want to center the pith, or level the pith. There you go. I do want to level the pith because uh, it's your best quality lumber out of there in my, in my book. And that way when you get to the, get to the pith wood, you can capture it all in one slice, hopefully. Gotta fix those for scrap. Now we got a, we do have a split in this end, yeah. unfortunately. So, loading arms down. Now I have my lovely assistant come up here and adjust the controls for me. I'm gonna guess that this end has to go up. This like runs this way. This one's going up and down. For the most part, yeah, it's kind of angled, unfortunately. Eleven and a half. Wow. Well, put your end down some, please. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can you bring this end up a little? What Deb's doing is lifting the roller toe boards, in case you guys aren't sure. If you're not familiar with the mill. A little more, please. All right, good. Put it down. Yeah. yeah, this end down. All the way. Thank you. All the way. 
Yeah. Okay, nine and a half there. And that end's not gonna move. Put this end down. I don't think we're gonna have to lift it up. Keep going. Open the clamp, please. One down. And are you all the way down then? Oh, the claw's in the way. I'll get it. It's just gonna sit all the way down. So the pit is pretty much straight through this log. There you go. All right. Yeah, ugly crack in this end of the log, guys. Uh, 15 and a half. So I'm going to start in on that end. This tells me where I'm going to come out on the other end. It's a way to avoid a lot of waste in a cut and make sure I'm not making the cut too big that you can't handle carrying it away. Debarker on, put the debarker in. Now, we did not run the metal detector on these guys, so you know us in the black walnut like curse. You're getting down in that range where you find metal. Because this is, I believe, the butt log off the tree. No, this might be second log. I don't know. Couldn't tell you for sure. Here you go. Ah, 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 ah. End. Too heavy. Scrap pile. Well, the boards aren't separated here. Easy enough to do. Got your end? Yeah. There you go. Down more. Okay. Sorry you can't follow us with the camera. Uh, thanks, cutting flat. Uh, a little bit. I might need my sweatshirt back. I hate this. Somebody might be asking me a question about what's going on and I can't answer anything. Put it in the chat or put it in the comments section and I'll check it out after the video. I mean, we could go live all day. <laughs> Just running black wallet. Well, not all day, but... So we're doing five quarter, correct? Are we doing five quarter grade yeah. zone or just five quarter? Wait a minute. Are we doing inch and a quarter? I thought that's what we were doing. Or is that, is that grade zone four quarter? Let me go measure it. Entertain everybody. Here. This doesn't really matter right now. You are 13 yeah, there. The I gotta cut this one. All right. Okay. Hang on. Take it down a little bit. All right, so everybody cheer Dev on. You gonna run the debarker in? Uh, that dial's down. Put it in the drive. Gauge your blade. You know the drill. Just give it a reminder. Refresh your course, guys. I forgot what we were cutting all of our other black walnut at. It's been a while since we cut it. They may not hear you. It's pretty loud at the mill. I can hear you, but they may not be able to. Great zone, four quarters. A little faster and let your departure out a little bit. Don't hold the switch in. If you hold the switch in, it's going to bind it up. If you're having too much trouble, just back your departure out and leave it off.
help with this one. Yeah, it's great saw in 440. Okay. This all looks dirty. Man, there's a ton of mud in that. <laughs> This is live unedited stuff guys, so now you get to see the way you can really go through all the stuff. Now we're not cutting posts. We're not cutting posts, so we don't have to square this up, but we are gonna level the pit again. Control step. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. I'm sure it's got to go up a new right here. No, I think it's over. That's good. Believe it or not. It does have a little bit of tape with this one. So. I'll let you cut that. In the half. You forget, I always forget to measure that down here. What's that? Where I'm going to come out at. Make it 15. <laughs> always tell you you don't know. Yeah, I know. Get the metal detector out of the jacket, but... You know what's more fun than metal detecting logs? Why are you? <laughs> You're on the wrong end. You got to walk backwards, but then this is the heavy oh. end. Yeah, I know. Full fit. Oop, there you go. Okay. Not good. Not good. Don't need to. Alright. A bit of sap wood on this. No indicators of metal. Thank goodness. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that's three sides. Flip it around. Bark out of the log. I hate when it does that. Use the log. Use the log plant to help out. What you gotta do is just make sure you don't have a bunch of garbage on the, the mill deck. It's gonna get in your way. So if you have anything on that side, Dad, please the bumps a little bit. I thought you were going to lift it up. I got big hunks of bark over here. Yeah, there shouldn't be any. I didn't see anything under it. It's just laying on the milk deck over there. There we go. Yeah, the orange paint on there, guys, was a mark that we wanted to lock. That was our mark. The trees were already marked with X's to take down, so I didn't want to mark them with an X that we wanted them. This is the direction we're going to slap or cut the wood in. But unfortunately, where that crack goes. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll have to see if that's worth it. No, it won't matter where we're going to come out at. So. Ready? Yeah. Set 
about an inch and an eighth. Which is straight down to a quarter. Of course, may or may not be something. I'm guessing it's not. It's all staffing. We're just going to pass it. That side down. Yeah, that's quite ugly in this end. But yeah. that's the other thing you can do. Roll the tow boards up. Now you can look underneath. Some spark under here. I want to make sure there's nothing on the mill bed. Nothing that's going to make your log sit crooked. Nothing stuck to the underside of the log. It's going to make it sit in there crooked. Gives you your best cut. Could be okay. Take Take but you can have a nice one. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe five. Good. Good. The boards. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, You guys like the best for our videos. Yeah, we got a diagonal split there, but it is what it is. I can't make the log any better than it is. Well, I think we're still, we're still live. We're an hour in. We're a little over an hour. I definitely appreciate everybody hanging out with us, guys. I know it's just get a little bit a little bit whatever, just watch it, so, that amongst yourself. I'm looking at the thing now, I should be able to answer some questions for you. Use what, cut off? Use what for our wood stove? The cut off for the mill? 
Uh, we use Summit for a wood stove. Oh my god, this is going to play off there, guys. Okay? <laughs> That's the edge for so that's kind of over here anyway. I've got the mom in Ah, 400, nice. <laughs> what are you taking a, uh, taking a break from your mill? That's some nice walnut now. Let me pop this off of here. This is a good board. I'm going to have to get off of the walk around with a camera and get working. Real nice walnut board coming off of here, guys. Spot in the something. Sorry, the chat disappeared again. Well, I'm glad you find your milling interesting here. Yeah, we'll be flipping this over before the next cut, babe, okay? Alright, let me get you back on the tripod. I gotta get busy. Still got a job to do here. <laughs> Still gotta do my off bearing work. And a little closer. There we go. Get your plug back in so the phone stays going. Alright. Oh, I'd leave it. I'd, I'd leave it down there, but <laughs> that's just me. Yeah. So we got what? Like 13 inch wide black walnut here. It's not super clear, but it's nice wood. Hey, do we want to flip or just keep on going? No, we got to flip. I can't clamp it that low. It's rounded on the corners. I can't oh, drop no. the clamp down. Okay. I had to move the... Uh that was our pith board. What you can do with the pith board is slice it right down the middle. That gives you quarter saw on each side of it. I don't think I took it down. I'll straighten it out. There you go. I feel like we should, it'd be nice if we could live stream off multiple cameras. That would be cool. On over. There you go. Oh, I guaranteed it both. Oh boy. Oh no, it's that's flat. Usually you see it when it hits the deck. It'll wobble on you. Now make sure that clamp's low enough. Stops are all the way down. Let's see what we got. We'll go back to manual. I did take it down, but yeah, I know. So right there's the top of the log. About there. Now let's see if we got much of a bow. Yeah, we got to take a cleanup cut on there, guys. Yeah, that's really it bowed like this. So take it to our next possible measurement, six and three sixteenths. Not going to work. We're going to have to go down to four and fifteen sixteenths. Although I don't care about the bottom section of this log. Reason being, uh, that's the pit. So, we're gonna skim this saw. We'll skim this saw, and uh, trim cut it like that, and then we'll uh, 
just make as many boards as we can, and the last piece is not going to be that good. Go ahead. You're up. Am I, am I set? You're set. Okay. Here we go. All right, so far we got, uh, what, two, two edge boards here. She's going to make a trim because when you're cutting one side of a log, it's going to bow, guys. So... This cut will flatten this side out again. You're okay, you go faster. There you go. You go faster. There you go. Now see the end here, three eighths of an inch thick, the center, eighth of an inch. That's how much bow is in the log. So we do this flat cut, your readout should say inch and a quarter, doesn't it? Deborah? Inch and a quarter? Yeah. Your readout says inch and a quarter? Okay. So we trash that thin cut there. Pull our cells off. Nice uh, full quarter great saw board. Say great saw because great sawing has an eighth of an inch to the thickness to allow for shrinkage when it's dry. Uh, we found out from experience that people like that little bit extra on there so that things clean up when they run into a planer after this dry. Bark. I don't have to. That's all right. It's something you never see me doing normally in a video because I'm so busy running the camera. Hey, Deb. Deb. Turn your headset up. You can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Don't shake your head. Say yeah. I can't hear me. I can't hear your head shaking. Cut faster. See how your saw doesn't take it up on the board? That means you're cutting too slow. Remember what Marty said. I think we'll just call it the board. What do you want to call it the board? You want to add it? Ah, we'll add it. Much better. Much better. There we go. One more after this. Don't drop it when you come back. I'll have to look at the readout. Listen to your engine. It talks to you. That's good right about there. But remember what he says. Never, it's never one setting. You're surfing the dial. Ooh, got a little bit of a rod hole in the middle of that one. Unfortunately. A little bit of bug damage in there. Yeah, so I gotta see where we're at. Alright, what we're gonna do here, guys, is we don't have enough to get two boards out of this. But this oh. board on this side is better than the one underneath of it because the one underneath of it is all pith wood. Juvenile wood. Really? A lot of this is not all that hot. Uh -uh. Yeah, see, this is pith wood. You pith. can see the pith yeah. running right through it. I think we'll just pull one off there. No. We'll just pull one off of this side. Or off the bottom, sorry. What I'll do is go manual.
into an eight. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. As they stay up in, uh, what's it, Michigan and one of the other places, Yin? <laughs> I don't know. Still got 29 close spots and 45 thumbs up. Awesome, guys. If there was any super chat, definitely appreciate it. Any super stickers, definitely appreciate it. And just definitely appreciate everybody showing up for the live stream today. Right, we're going to cut it off after this one. Go ahead and... Uh, who wants us to stay on for the edges? we got to edge... Uh, there's four boards here on the floating arm. we got to be edged out. Who wants, us, who wants us to stay on for that? Put it up in the chat. Let me know what you think. I don't know. Oh, 30 in the chat. Cool. Someone just joined in. Minute 21 or, or an hour 21 already. My spot in the woods. Awesome. You want to you stay on? Gotcha. All I need is one person to want to see it, and I'll do it. I don't care. Here. LTD, Rick, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Good to see you. Wife in the 608 or, or outside in the 608 was that? Was the other one? Oh, the chat disappears too fast. Stay on all day. I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we got plenty of black walnut at the mill, but uh, got to keep got to keep working. And it's hard to keep everybody entertained when we're running around here. So I guess I have to help Deb. What do you think? Right. Yeah. We're going to edge them out and then I think we'll call it a day for the live stream. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? All right. Yep. Oh, you heard it, guys. Deb's calling it. Deb's I calling it. it. I usually do all the edging. Yeah. Uh, Deb hates it. <laughs> I don't Not like sure it. why, but Deb hates it. That's That stays in the front. Oh, sorry. Hold on. No, no. No, no. Yeah, we have I think we're just going to end up stacking them right like this. Just like that. Get rid of that. Ready? Don't eat don't eat that on the bill. Let's flip that over. There we go. That's an ugly one. <laughs> That's not going to produce much. Not on this side anyway. Nah, the other side will make a board. And you only need one side good. You make it a cabinet, a drawer, something. Yeah. I don't know. You put the sapwood on the side you don't see, and everybody's happy. Now they sell edgers, it's granite. They sell edgers where we could uh, run these boards to a separate machine. Hey, see but, you later, Joe. Uh, JPF leaving? Yeah, Take it easy, yeah. Joe. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Hopefully your customer yeah, showed up stuff. getting that truckload. Hopefully you sold that truckload. All right. I need my tape measure back. See you later, Joe. Take care. All right, so we put the ones that need the least trimming on the outside. That way, as we finish them, they can fall off, push them out of the way, and we're good to go. These will probably clean up. These first two will probably clean up at about 11 inches. There we go. And edging, you can cut really fast. See, a lot of the stuff you guys are seeing now, we edit out. <laughs> Us walking around, moving scrap pieces, all that other stuff. I usually try to show you the uh, just the sawing bits. Three cleaned up. Not quite on the fourth one. Now the minimum the Woodweiser 35 will clamp, I believe, is two inches. Uh, 
So if we have anything less than two inches, we have to put a little block in there. Or something I'll show you in a minute. A little trick we use. Ten. Ten will clean up the first one. Whew, that wind is cold. I only have this long sleeve and a, I have a thermal underneath of it, so. Let's try to get back. Get, get a little sweaty out here. Start getting colder. There we go. Now, the one in the front cleaned up, and the one in the back cleaned up its first side. So, you lose the one in the front, flip the one in the back, and we trim again. I'm just kind of, I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. So, okay. see? That one done? Nice and clean. Good start. to go. It's done. That one is not done. That one is not nope. done. Nope. This one, this one is done. Okay. At least on the one side anyway. There we go. So, nine will clean this one up. Maybe that one. Let's see. We do this to maximize the board footage out of a log, guys. Yes, trees are a renewable resource, but they take a while to grow, so why waste them? Can have that one. I'll keep I'll this one. That one. Keep that one. No, I needed the clamp. That's a little okay. trick. We use this one to take up the space at the clamp or the cover. Now this one we're gonna have to chop a lot of it off. Unfortunately, just cut it right down at six. Ugh, I lost my tape measure. We'll cut it right off at six. Follow today. You gotta watch here. Is make sure your stops or your clamp are not in the way. Right now my stops are in the way, or they were, now they're down. Oh, she's cold today. We only had one little problem last year with this running in the cold. Something in the uh, fuel system froze up. It would run, but it would not rev up. There we go, this here. That's it. Water off. Okay. Head off. Head off. All right. Yeah. You saw, you saw a gear huffing and puffing over there, Deborah. Coming through. Coming through. You know what I'm gonna do? Huh? Take this mask. Take the mask off. Yeah. Tell me about it. all know about wanting to get out of a mask, right? Oh. What? You could... All right. I don't even need my headset on, but it keeps my ears warm. decent some pretty decent black walnut i mean i wasn't expecting beautiful beautiful stuff out of that one but it's decent black walnut not everybody not every piece has to be clear from one end to the other Whew. our the object is to get this is the last of our stackable lumber that um we have in the wood yard right now for black walnut let me take this headset off. I'm going to have to look for a knit hat because my head's freezing. <laughs> hey, Deb. Yes. Keep everybody entertained. What? Uh, whew. i got to grab a hat. Oh. 
You have all that hair on your head to keep your head warm. I know I don't want to lose my mask either. All I got is a beard to keep my face warm. There we go. Oh. Okay. Take that off. So I hope everybody right, enjoyed the Ooh. show. There's the jacket. <laughs> Back into the jacket now. Um, we got that more black you. walnut to do, like Chuck firewood. said. But uh, it's getting a little bit windy out here. More work anyway. The log splitter over there has to be... I'd go over there and start cleaning it up afterwards. There you go. It's a mess. Whew. But I'll get it. The stuff we threw on the ground, I'll clean it up, put it in the woodshed. You're talking and I'm talking at the same time. You, we didn't hear each other, but they heard us both of us. <laughs> okay. All right, got my knit hat All right. back. All right, let's check the chat here a little bit. Any questions with what you yes. just saw, guys? I'm looking at the chat now. Hopefully I can see it. You can look at it on your phone in case I can Yeah, I know. But you can see it full time. I only <sighs> see it when it pops up when they say something. An hour and a half. Wow, thanks guys for hanging out this long. And learn something new every time. All right, cool. How about an hour football start? Oh yeah, yeah, we better, <laughs> better get off. The game's coming on. Yep, I'm behind. On this, uh, do you have a channel, My Spot in the Woods? Do you have a channel? videos up or anything because i will definitely check that channel out definitely plug that channel well there i'm plugging it right there so if you have a channel um definitely plug that in a channel oh 31 somebody else popped in 52 thumbs up thanks for all that my guy. what kind of wood is burgundy colored there is no bark on it is it cedar i'm in pa yeah basically yeah burgundy I would say cedar is a burgundy color. No, nope, cedar, you know what cedar is? Cedar red. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> cedar is cedar. Uh, yeah, I would say it's a burgundy color. No, uh, no real bark to speak of. It's like a paper. Just kind of peels right off. We've got a few of them here. My um, phone's Some people me. swear that there's no cedar left in Pennsylvania. Uh, that it's that the, what the eastern red cedar they say is not here anymore. Yeah, I, I don't believe that. I mean, I see plenty of it. But they're saying that's something else, that it's not Eastern Red Sea. But I'm not, a, I don't profess to be a tree expert, but I've never heard anybody say that. I've just didn't heard a couple people say that. So 53 thumbs up. Could it be sassafras? Hmm. Well, no, sassafras has bark. Uh, I think he was describing the tree as it's in a living form. It has no bark. But actually, it does have a bark, but it's just very thin, papery bark. Thanks for the, uh, it's drier than dry and it looks burgundy to me. If you've planed it and it looks burgundy, yeah, it's, um, it's uh, definitely cedar. And if you found some nice clear cedar like that, it's cool. Had cedar in South Central PA before I moved. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you, Sack. That was a, a, good, a good example of what we do on, on our weekends. We may do one or the other, but uh, sometimes we do both, like we did today. Um, we're going to go back over. Clean up. I don't up. know. What do you want to do? You want to finish splitting, or do you want to finish cutting, or what um, do you want to do? I don't know. Uh, how much? No, I'd rather split. There's not much over there to do yet. Yeah, Tim, if it's super lightweight it's, and it's dry, it's cedar. Yeah, sassafras is more yellow. And as far as bark goes, sassafras has very chunky bark, deep furrows, similar to that walnut we just did. If someone what was that. really weird was the walnut we just did had deep furrows in it. The next walnut here barely has any deep furrows in it. And it, the bark just varies a lot in these walnuts. And these all came off the same line. So it's just kind of weird. Maybe, it was in, maybe one was further up in here. Not like dry pine. Well, no, cedar will have some weight to it. I'm trying to think of what else would be a burgundy color. Unless you ran into, no, that stays red for the most part. Um, box elder, but it has to have a lot of box elder flame in it to look burgundy in color. And that usually m maintains a good red, at least what I've worked with, yes. What would you like to do? If you can't say it on camera, don't say it now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Deb has to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Oh, don't leave your mic on. I don't think you want to no. have that. I don't want to have that going on. No, you want to wrap it up then? Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, please. you get to step back in the right. shot here. So. Yes. That's it, guys. The lady calls it. She's she's got to go to the lady's room. So. Let me see. Where are we gonna? Right here. Am I good? I've seen some black warrant with a wine burgundy color. Hmm. That is yes. If you see black walnut, the natural dried, uh, air dried black walnut, not steamed, is can have some deeper purplish color to it. Um, very deep purple. I can get warmed up. Yeah, it's a little chilly out here. It's a little bit above freeze. Thanks for the education, Chuck and Deb. Hey, no problem, Rick. Glad to help out. Um, like I said, if you ever have any questions about any of our videos. You got the comment section. If it's a situation like this, put it in the live chat. We'll watch the replay on the live chat. And we'll go from there. What do you What do you got? I'm picking trip, the rock up because it's trip hazard for me. Trip hazard. Okay. Hey guys, yeah, see that tree? We are going to get that tree. We are going to process it into firewood yes. and lumber logs. I promise. Or slab logs. One of these One of these times. But we gotta make room for we it gotta, too. We gotta make some room for it. Firewood, well, we can make room for firewood pretty quick. I would just get jump in there with a chainsaw and start cutting the ends of it all. You gotta be careful, it's a, lot, it's a down tree and they got a lot of stored energy and a lot of situations can go south on you if you've ever have any, if you've ever worked with trees before, you know that a down tree like that could be more dangerous than one standing up and cutting it down. So how many years have you been milling? Um, been a while. 12 years? I think so. About 12 years, yeah. Um, I got started when some trees fell on my shop, <laughs> and I said, you know what? Uh, a friend of mine had some, some wood milled, and the guy had a wood miser. I had never seen the mill, but I started looking into it, and I said, I think we want to do that. <laughs> so I talked to Deb, and uh, we went ahead and uh, purchased the LT-15 first, uh, and we did some portable milling and realized, yeah, if we're going to keep doing this, we need hydraulics. So. Yep. Sold the LT15 and got the LT35, and uh, you started in '84. Wow, long before me. I think that's yep. when Wood Miser put out their first portable. I'm assuming you did not start on a Wood Miser, or maybe you did, but I think '84 was the earliest Wood Miser, or was it '82? Oh, I'm Something not like sure. That. Well, they're 40 years old, so it was '82. Okay. Yeah, 40 years old this year. Yep. For ready yeah i'm ready wrap it up yeah gotta hit the ladies room and right, it's guys. getting windy and we won't have the drone fly over after this but uh we'll do our usual wrap up again it's it's always i don't want to call it usual because you know it, it's 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 huge to us that you guys come out every week and you find what we do interesting and you watch your videos and you come to the live streams and uh you show support for the channel and part of the win but uh you know we, we owe this channel to you guys yes uh, 28,200 plus subs and you guys are here every week watching you may not you may not be speaking up in the chat or answering or asking questions but you're always welcome to okay but um this channel is because of you guys and we're gonna we're gonna pass a milestone 30 case coming up soon, soon. enough it, it's kind of taking a while to yeah. get there but we're gonna get there and when we do we're gonna have some good giveaways guys we're gonna start announcing that now right. uh, what they are exactly yet do not know but we have ideas and uh, you guys are definitely going to tune in for that and you'll we'll we'll let you know more as we get closer okay but it's going to be more than just t-shirts and hats on this end trust me on that we got we got some good things in mind and uh ready to uh show some serious appreciation for everybody out there watching the channel so but we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up again if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill about this live stream about the splitter the mill anything here uh please put it down in the comment section or quick throw it in the live chat and I'll be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out. And we will see you out here next time. And take care. Thanks, everybody. And yeah, thank you. Have a great week.